Hey guys, welcome back to How It's Designed. I know I haven't posted in a while, but in this video, I wanted to show you how you can set up in SolidWorks convection simulations. In this example, actually, I used this simulation for a real world project I was working on with attic insulation above the attic ladder. I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how to sh set up a convection simulation using SolidWorks. And I also wanted to say thank you for the thousand subs. Really appreciate it. Shout out to India, shout out to Turkey, shout out to the US, North America, getting a lot of viewers from those areas and other countries as well. So really appreciate you guys. So for our first material, we have just plain pine wood. It's important to set some material properties before you run the convection simulation. We'll have um, our Poisson's ratio, uh, and some of these are quite tricky for a material like wood since it's so inconsistent throughout. Just do your best to get these more critical properties to run. So Poisson's ratio, mass density, um, we have our thermal conductivity set at 0.12 and our specific heat value of 2300. So we have those set, should be good to go. All right, so let's get into the actual convection simulation setup. We're gonna go new study. We're gonna go to thermal. I'm gonna select okay. We have our panel here with both sides. We're gonna go ahead and set our thermal loads. First one being the initial temperature, like we talked about the one side facing towards uh, your ground floor. The warmer side is going to be 290 Kelvin. We'll set our initial temperature. We're gonna add another thermal load for our convection I'm going to select the top side facing the colder attic space convection coefficient going to be five for both materials and our ambient temperature is 270. Now we should be able to run. can see our results using this temperature chart here. And what I like to do is just simply right click list heat power and see our power out is 57. We can see our power out for that face we selected is 55 watts. Now let's compare that to the other material. Here we have our special insulation foam with um, custom material properties that I had to go ahead and set. If you haven't checked out my SolidWorks video on creating new materials, go ahead and um, watch that video. And we'll go ahead and run that other thermal simulation now for this material. our initial temperature. Coefficient of five, 
to 70, hit OK, and we'll run. So we're implying the direction with the warmer temperature being on the bottom, the colder temperature on top. So it's the heat is going to flow um, out from bottom to top to the colder airspace, if that makes sense. All right, the results are in. We can go ahead and list our heat power coming out of this face. You can see how much smaller of a value, about two watts out compared to what the 50 or so watts of the other panel. So we have a lot less heat energy loss to the colder attic space, which is what we expected. And that is a very basic way to get started with convection simulations in SolidWorks using um, real world applications. Thank you so much guys for watching on YouTube. For the full version, full tutorial, go to Patreon. I'll put the link below. You can access the most premium content that I put out. Thanks.